September is National Preparedness Month, the time when federal agencies encourage citizens to make a plan for natural disasters. FEMA, NOAA, and NGA contribute to the disaster response with help from satellite technology. The private sector does too, as Diane Cho reports. After a natural disaster, seconds can make all the difference in the world, especially for emergency responders. If landlines or cell phones go down, satellites provide one more means of communication. Three years ago, Hughes Network Systems stepped in to help after Hurricane Sandy crashed into the East Coast. The infrastructure of the terrestrial providers was either underground or on the first floor of their facilities and were quickly submerged and rendered inoperable. Really, the only things that worked in these two instances, Sandy and, and Katrina, was satellite. When it comes to public safety, he says the company's Spaceway satellite improved upon its predecessors, overcoming vulnerabilities that existed in the past caused by heavy rain. The Spaceway satellite is a router in the sky. No middle hub on the ground or terrestrial uh, backhaul is needed. It's dish to dish. It's it's direct point-to-point -point connectivity. It's faster, it's made for data transmission. The ability to see a potential weather threat before it makes landfall is where the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration comes in. Satellites are literally our eyes in the sky. They are constantly scanning the globe. Chris Vaccaro with NOAA says satellites are critical to a weather forecast helping meteorologists project weather conditions hours, days, or even weeks in advance. He says satellites account for about 90% of the data fed into forecast models. In a, in a huge ocean like this, we just have a, you know, a few bur a buoys or a couple of weather observation sites in the Caribbean or the Bahamas and maybe a few ships. But there's gapping data holes in between that and the satellite helps to fill that gap and it provides a sweeping um, overview of what, what the current conditions are in the atmosphere. For Government Matters, I'm Diane Cho.